guys welcome back to the channel thank you so much for tuning in today we have a really exciting video if you have found me through my what's in my bag uh, with my Louis Vuitton speedy 30 then welcome to all my new subscribers today I have a really special treat for you guys we're gonna be doing my SLG collection which stands for small letter goods so if you would like to see my entire small leather goods collection, then keep on watching. Okay, so here we are. show you 10 luxury small leather goods that I have in my collection. I do intend to grow my collection. This is just the beginning and I just figured that you know, I like watching these videos and I've had a lot of new subscribers through my what's in my bag video so I just wanted to share this with you guys if you're an old subscriber. Hi! If you are brand new, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So I'm gonna start from smallest to largest item. I will say I have some low-end luxury items and I do have some high-end luxury items. So we're gonna start from smallest to biggest in that order. So first up, I'm gonna show some of my low end luxury items. So the first thing I wanna show you is, you probably saw this in my What's In My Bag video. This is a Hello Kitty um, bag charm. This is made by Swarovski. Let me get a little close so you can see it. Yeah, this is made by Swarovski. And it has pink Swarovski crystals in it. It has, also has black uh, for the eyes and yellow for the nose. So I love this. I bought this, I want to say I bought this about maybe six years ago. Um, when I saw it, I had to have it. I actually bought it on Outlook. Um, so it was on sale on, on Outlook and I had to pick it up. So here's item number one. Item number two, we're gonna do, this is my Rebecca Minkoff. Uh, leather pouch It's a beautiful pink color and On this on the back here. It says Manny petty fun. I Really didn't buy this for what it says. I bought it mainly because I like the color so much So yeah, it's just a pouch might be some stuff in here still it does come with a key ring and I have a old-school baby fat key charm chain on it but yeah this is what it looks like and there we go that's item number two item number three let's go ahead with now we're gonna move on to oh I have another one here this one has a story behind it and usually when someone says it you know the viewers are like oh here we go but this one has a story behind it, but I'm not gonna tell you the whole story. Um, the first luxury handbag I ever bought was back in the 90s, and um, it was this print. And I just recently bought this on Poshmark just to go with that, because it was a sentimental thing. So this is a Dooney & Burke multicolor wallet. It's a zippy wallet. It looks a little beat up just because it is vintage. Like I said, this is probably back going back to like 1995, maybe 1996, but uh, it's taking you back a couple of years. And I'm gonna, I love it. It has the rainbow zipper, it has the Dooney and Burke charm, but it's a heart. It's beautiful. And when you open it up, the interior looks much better than the exterior. Um, same with the bag I have. But when you open it up, you 
got the typical zippy wallet style, accordion style look. So yeah, I uh, bought this for sentimental reasons. Um, don't necessarily use it, but keep it as a collector's item. Next up, we're gonna move on to some Louis Vuitton stuff. We have two small items. I have a Louis Vuitton card holder. This I bought because it was the Demir Aben print with the ballerina interior. And this was like around the first time they started doing this. So as you can see, it has that beautiful ballerina interior. Um, it has the typical card holder pocket and it has a front pocket here that you can also put things in. So had to have it because it was the rose ballerine interior and they have since made a lot of new items with this pattern. So hopefully one day soon I can pick up a bag to match this card holder. And I have the name of it here. If you wanna see what the name is, Cartes Caiso. I don't know if you can see that that is the name of that card holder and I do believe it was a limited edition I don't know if they still have this on the website but fun piece love the pink in the Damier Ben next up this is also another limited edition piece I picked up this piece when they were phasing it out so I actually went to the store asking for it and they said nope we don't sell it anymore and by some bizarre chance, I looked on the Louis Vuitton website and it was up there and it did say sold out. So I just kept checking and checking and checking. And one day it said it was in stock. I hit add to cart, I hit buy. And next thing I knew it was arriving at my doorstep. So I got very, very, very lucky with this one. This is the multicolor, um, key clay, the clay, multicolor clay, and it has the lavender interior. Let me go ahead and open this up for you. As you can see, it has the lavender interior. It has a pocket on the outside. And if you are a Louis Vuitton lover and collector, you will you know, you'll recognize this. This is very popular and I hope one day they may bring it back. Wishful thinking, we'll see what happens, but I'd like to pick up some more stuff in this print. Next up, I have a wallet. This is a lower end wallet. This is a Michael Kors wallet. And let me open this up. <clears throat> There's nothing in it right now. I usually use this during the holidays, like December. Um, when you open it up, it has a nice compact style, like so. This zipper, this this holds a lot of stuff, so you can put coins in here. Um, there's pockets inside. There's a pocket here, pocket here, pocket on the back, and also. I love this part where you can put bills, uh, receipts, receipts, girl. You can put your receipts in there. Yeah, so this is very convenient. I do have a bag to match it. And I will soon be doing bag collections for you guys as well. I'm just, you know, I'm working on it. But yeah, maybe I'll do a low end bag collection first and then I'll do a high end bag collection. So yeah, I have a bag to match it. And if you're wondering what wallet this is, I got this at the Nordstrom Rack. It's the Saragota wallet, Continental. So yeah, I do keep a lot of the tags in my wallets just so I can know and remember what it was, how much I paid for it, in case I wanna sell it, things of that nature. So that's my Michael Kors wallet. Next up, what do we have back here? Next up, this is near and dear to me. This is my one and only Chanel wallet. So this is the Zippy coin purse. 
in the caviar leather and the detailing is um, it's like a gold it's like an off gold yeah it's like a bronze it's a bronze CC logo same with the zipper I got this at Neiman Marcus and it has as you can see inside it has the accordion style this is not leather um, the sides are leather but the inside is like a fabric material and of course I always carry the authenticity card with me and I have the if you're wondering which one this is this is the tag for some reason they asked me if I wanted to wrap it up if it was a gift I said yes because it's a gift to myself so I think they literally took me serious as I was given this as a gift they cut off the price so I don't have the price of it on here but if you wanted to know what it is there's the tag I hope that's picking up okay next up what do we have here hmm, what do we have next let's take a look oh I have another wallet here this is the Alexander Wang Rocky style the studded wallet in um, black lambskin with the rose gold I love this wallet so much um, it has functional zippers on the side it's probably still stuff in there but this is like a really nice nylon material inside same on the other side there's another zipper can put stuff on this side too you can open it up and it has an inside pocket this is, ooh, this is the authenticity card in here comes with four slot card holder slots there yep and you can hold there's still stuff in here you can hold a ton of stuff in here more than it looks and it stretches which is and it's so soft it's a really nice soft lambskin I can put my phone in here um, yeah there's so much you can fit in here so this has been near and dear to my heart and I also love the signature Alexander Wang with the stud on the wristlet so this has been extremely functional for me had this for many years as well a lot of these items I've had for quite some time I would say going on like four years or more with some of these items but um yep another great piece and very price wise it's on the lower end of the pricing of prices with luxury items next up near and dear my good old mini pochette and the Damier bin this was my first Louis Vuitton item that I ever picked up and definitely didn't regret it being the first because it's been so functional. Um, I use it almost every day uh, and I've had it, huh. this I've had for about six years I want to say and I've used it almost every day. So it's extremely functional, held up very well through the years, the red interior. Everybody loves and adores. It's beautiful. Ooh, girl, you sweat. Hold on. Get a neck sweat. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Yeah, but this is near and dear to my heart. So that is the mini pochette and the Damier event. Next up, we have the pochette NM, new model, and the Damier bin as well. This is actually the second item I picked up from Louis Vuitton. Um, to my second item ever <laughs> that I ever picked up. So this has also been extremely functional. I usually use this as a purse. And since I've got the uh, Speedy 30, I use this sometimes as a catch-all in that. But love it. If you were to get start, if you're just getting started with Louis Vuitton, I would definitely recommend picking up one of these two items. Either one, you can't go wrong. So I'm not going to give prices because they do go up in price every 
so often so i may give a price and you may be looking at this you know a couple of years from now and you'll be like what it's way more expensive than what you said it was so i'm not going to give the price because they do tend to go up but yeah one of these must have okay i think we have one more item to go last but not least this is my only one and only louis vuitton wallet it is a limited edition piece um, it is very special to me because it is it is unique and without further ado this is the zippy wallet in the vernis and this is the rose lychee color so this is a beautiful color when i saw this in the store i had to have it i hope it's picking up on camera true to color it is like a very unique coral color it's like a pinky peachy coral it's beautiful and the interior so it's very neat the vernie leather the interior is the same color yep and i use this in the spring and summer mostly but it's beautiful so yeah, this is the Rose Lychee. I do hope they eventually come back out with this color because it's beautiful. But this went quick when it did come out. And yes, love this wallet so, so much. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is my small leather goods collection. At the moment, I do intend to grow this collection. Um, so stay tuned for that. And if you wanna see a handbag uh, collection stick around for that that'll be coming up soon and if you didn't see my what's in my bag with my speedy 30 um, the Damier Ben uh, bandoulaire then I will leave that up below for you to watch in the cards and if you have not subscribed now is the time to click that button down below you will not regret it there will be more luxury items more luxury Lifestyle videos coming up soon, uh, makeup, hair, you name it. And comment below, uh, you know, whatever you want to see, comment below and we'll see if we can make that happen. All right. Um, I would also like to know what your favorite Louis Vuitton pieces are um, or Chanel, because I am looking to eventually pick up one of those soon. So comment below what your current favorite Louis Vuitton bag is or your current favorite Chanel bag um, on your wish list. Or if you've picked it up already, comment below and I would love to check it out. All right, till next time. See you soon. Okay, so here we are.